Now you two wheelers out there will know that there are all sorts of different owners clubs for different brands and type of motorcycle. Well we've come to a bit of a gathering. We're in Reading, we're actually at Reading Rugby Club and that's in Bruff, Berkshire. <laughs> and this is the place and the home this weekend for this tented village and the various different people of the Virago Star Owners Club, the VSOC. Yes, and they've come down to display the bikes and go on a bit of a run. So let's go and have a look at a few. So let's find out a bit more by asking the chairman, Kevin Hoyt, VSOC then, how long has that been going, Kev? It's been going around uh, seven years now, Paul. Right. Um, it started sort of at 1993, really, by a chap called John Brining from near Seth and Walden in Essex. Right. And he had um, a, a bit of a help with Peter Healy for a while. And um, the club grew from there, really, mostly gaining members through the BMF show in Peterborough. All oh, right, we know the BMF show very well. So how many members have we got then? Um, right. Up until April last year, we had 1,141 members. Wow, that's um, amazing. Which is, is pretty impressive for a one-make owners club. That's, it is very impressive. So what's the sort of normal turnout at an event like this? The normal turnout of an event is really up to about 500, yeah. 500 people, yeah. So, yeah. which is not a bad uh, percentage considering the amount of members we've got. It's very good percentage, yeah. It just shows you the, the enthusiasm within the club, doesn't for it? Sure, it does. So is this an annual event or is this one of many events? This, this is one of many events. What we try and do is we try and have um, four events in sort of Great Britain every year. Right. Um, plus we, we try and do an international event of which we spread our wings even further. I was going to ask you that, yeah, because the, I noticed some of the, looking at the number plates here, we've got Dutch, we've got Denmark, people from all over the place. So they come here. Do you go there? What, what we used to do is we, we tried to encourage the Dutch and the Danes to come across to us and we went across to yeah. them. But what we've done now is because to save the journeys all the time, what we've done is we designated an international rally every year. Right. So one year it will be in this country, one year it will be in Denmark, one year it will be in Holland. Right, I see. So have you got any more big events this year coming up? We've got a big in event this, country. this year. We have. Um, our next one is August Bank Holiday Weekend right. at the Grasshoppers Rugby Club in Preston. Grasshoppers? I Grasshopper. played seven aside there when I was 17 years old. You, you did. Know. How Preston long ago Grass... was that then? <laughs> <laughs> How long ago, eh? They weren't playing with leather cases, I can tell you that. No, I bet. Right, well, it's, it's a good deal. Lovely atmosphere, as yeah. always, at most, most biking events. It's starting to rain now, though. Yeah, it has, yeah, it's just a shame. So we better get all this chrome covered up quick. Right, yeah, <laughs> thanks for that, anyway. <laughs> as with any big bike gathering or big rally, you get the usual type of things here. We've got a local dealer here behind me displaying his wares, promoting motorcycling and showing a full range of all the Yamaha custom cruisers. He's got drag stars, Viragos, Royal Stars, even a big Venture Star over there. Here, all your leather goods and bits and pieces that you might want. Wayne was in there earlier, actually looking for some new underpants, I believe. Over here, little bits and bobs, artifacts, things to wear. Also, things to stick on your bike, because you can buy accessories here this weekend. And if you should buy any accessories for your custom Yamaha machine, you can have them fitted here. Because just further on down there, in that little tent, are the guys from Yamaha themselves. And they'll check your bike, answer any questions you might have, any queries, and they'll even fit your bits and pieces for you and Wayne's been in to check it out. I'm just going to interrupt this guy now. It looks like he knows what he's doing, and he should know what he's doing because he's a mechanic for Yamaha. Actually, for Yamaha, though, aren't you? Not from a dealer. No, from Yamaha Motors UK. Yeah. Tell us, George, what's the score then? Why are you guys here? Because there's a fair few of you milling around yeah, in this Yeah, yeah, well, you've, uh, basically, it's just put the uh, Virago Owners Club um, on their runs, on their days out. Um, we come and we do safety checks, check the bikes over, um, tyres, brakes, etc. Um, some of them come quite a long way as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, we've been talking to a guy from Holland, and there's quite a few from Holland. So I mean, yeah, uh, you yeah, know, they, they have come, come a long way, abroad, further yeah. than most people do that's in right, a year. Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah, so yeah. so I mean, they, they come over. People obviously are going to say to you, like, I've come whatever, two or three hundred miles, check things out for me. That's right. Yeah, yeah, they come in. They, they may have picked up a problem on the way. Um, and if we can sort it out for them, then great. Um, we're not fully kitted up as what a motorcycle workshop will be, like a dealer. Yeah, yeah. Um, we can only bring a certain amount of stuff with us. Yeah. Um, if we can sort their problems out, then we will. But um, I notice you've also brought a whole kit of accessories and things yeah, as well. Yeah, we brought a, a load of accessories that uh, our sales guys are, are selling off to them at a reduced price. Um, and then you and guys we'll, fit we'll, them, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we'll do a free fitting well, service more for them. Well, more could they ask for it? Well, they the can, dealers uh, do that. They can park their bike up and go and have a, a beer or a tea or a sandwich and come back and it's done for them. Excellent. Now this is Bob Poundlet, area rep for Northwest. Northwest. Longest serving area rep, eh? Yeah, seven years I've been serving. I'm yeah. proud of it as well. well. Proud of it, yeah. Right, Bob. Got a good team with me. I bet you. I know you've got a great team. I've met a lot of them. Just tell me, Bob, about the, your passion then for these custom cruisers. Why fact, custom cruisers? Well, it's a lot easier to ride than a, 
uh, plastic as we call them, the sports start bike. Plastic rockets. Yeah, the plastic <laughs> rockets. I mean, you, you lose your license dead quick. On this, you don't. Right. I mean, it will do, do a turn of speed, like, but it's the the style and the the comfort of riding it. Right. Well, I can't deny that they are comfy. This is the this is enormous Wild Star, sixteen hundred cc. That's correct. I'm gonna have one. Have a bigger now. That's what I say. So, what do you have before this then? I had the 1100 before this and the 750 before that. Right. Um, the Virago range and. And what's this, this like? This one, it, to compare with that, it's a lot easier to ride. Easier. It's, it's heavier, but it's easier. Yeah. Because it, it's the wheelbase of it. Um, it's huge. It might be huge, but it's not to me. That headlamp looks like a football from the back, doesn't it? It's massive. It's all right to comb your hair in, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose it is. Yeah. Let me ask you this, because when, when you, I don't know, I'm guessing when you. Um, bought this when it arrived on your, your drive at home or outside your house. Did your neighbours come out and say, oh, you've got one of them Harleys? Yes. Oh, yes. It has, what, what's so your reaction to that? Because it's say, nothing well, like I that. I just turn around and say, it's not a Harley. It's a Yamaha. It's a wild star. Right. And it might be a look-alike of a Harley, but at least I don't have to pay out the costs of maintenance on it. Right. Like you do with a Harley. They're too dear for me to run. Yeah. I'd like a Harley, but like, like I say, they're just too expensive to keep going. Right. So you don't mind being, being sort of oh, no, no. mistaken for a Harley? No. Doesn't bother me it's at all. It's not a negative thing. Right, great. Now, you know, folk don't just come from various different parts of the country, this country. No, they come from all over Europe. In fact, I've met a guy called Hans. He's come from The Hague in Holland. In fact, Hans is over here with his big star over here. Hans, how are you doing, mate? I'm fine, thank yeah, you. Yeah, very good. How now, are you? this was a little, quite a long journey for you coming yeah. over from Holland. Yeah. When did you set off? Uh, Thursday. Yeah? yeah. And, and you got here when? Yesterday? No, Thursday evening. Oh, so you came on Thursday? You got we here came Thursday. on Thursday evening and we left in Holland at uh, uh, English time, 3 o'clock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dutch time, 4 o'clock. So, and we arrived here uh, half past uh, 11. It was raining, very heavy. Oh, no, so you brought it You brought it over from Holland. Yeah, it never think, rains in I this country. So. We have the same kind of weather in Holland. Yes, so I know you do, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you speak better English than we do as well. Uh, yeah. I try to, to get my best English. <laughs> Tell me about this bike now. Is this a popular machine in Holland then? It's a very popular machine in Holland. Yeah. More so the, the, the stars, the drag stars, the royal stars, mm. than the Viragos? There are no Viragos now. Oh no? Uh, it's finished with the Virago in Holland. And we have all these? All the stars. And this the is 650, a... 1100 yeah. and the royal stars. This is a bit special. This is, has a yes. really lovely paint yes. job. Yes. But tell me a little bit about this. West Coast Hogs, what's this? It's an, uh, an area in Holland. Uh -huh. uh, we have several areas in Holland and we have all different names. And we are called the West Coast Hogs. Got ya. It's because of the pig. The pig? Yeah. The hog, yeah, of the course. Hog. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's and, a wild pig. Uh -huh. While you're over here, you've uh, you've come to have a look at our beautiful English yes, countryside, of yes, course, yes, as well. Yes. Oh, so yeah. that's what you're going to do. You're going to have a ride now, aren't you? You're going to have a ride well, now. Well, we won't stop you any longer. You go enjoy your ride on the country there, but make sure you know your way back here, won't you, for later yeah. on? Yeah. All right, it's nice talking to you, Hans. Okay. All thank the best you. to you. Okay, Take care. thank you. Bye-bye. Now let me show you some of the lengths that some of these guys go to to personalise the machines and, and customise them. This is Kevin Hoyt's bike, chairman of the club that we met a little bit earlier. Little things that you don't really notice until you get close. The back of the brake calipers here. That there would normally be a plastic piece. It would just be a plastic chunk and it doesn't look very attractive. He's had these specially made. Stainless steel, lovely and shiny. Of course we've got aftermarket parts from Yamaha, the proper things. Beautiful front fender and just loads and loads of chrome. And if you come up here, the top of the reservoir here, the top cover, that's chromed. It looks like an aftermarket part. It's not. That's the original one that he's cleaned up, sent away and had it chromed. Little brackets like this here, that little bracket there, that's been chromed. He's had that done as well. And you don't really notice them until you get it next to an original machine that, that, that's bog standard. But there are over 85 different chrome bits on this, extra chrome bits on this, so that's a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of thought as well. And I'll tell you how much of a perfectionist Kevin is. On the tank here, he's got a shark, and I had to ask him about this. Shark here, shark on the other side. And that's because Virago, it says, underneath the shark, it's still there, the original badge, you may not be able to see it. But the V is there, capital V, and the rest is in small letters. On the other side, of course, the capital V is not the back, it's at the front because it reads Virago that way. Now that meant that when he was sat on the bike, he could see a bit of the V on this side, but none of the V on that side because of the shape of the tank. And it was bugging him, it didn't look symmetrical. So he went back to the paint sprayer who's done the tank and said, can you do something about it? So he's had this shark put on it. And when he sits on the seat now and looks down, he sees a little bit of shark fin here, 
and he sees a little bit of shark fin there. So it all looks perfectly symmetrical. I don't know, eh? Perfectionist. Right, you know me and trikes. I like my trikes. In fact, only recently I had to go on the Hayabusa trike and that was decidedly exciting. But this is entirely different. Malcolm, tell us a bit about this Virago. It's a 750. Yeah. There's not many 750s around, is there? Not trikes. This was the first Yamaha I was triked in England this yeah, one was. Yeah, was it really? Yeah. Did you, Dumb, did you done produce by Desperate this? Dan. Desperate Dan. Desperate now he's Dan. famous for his yeah. constructions yeah. and trikes. Yeah. It's a superb bit of kit. Have you finished it off with all your bits and pieces? It's all been finished off, yeah, and it was redone the end of this year. Um, put back together again, you know, and this is the first rally we've been to. Is it? Really. Oh, yeah. it's a brilliant place. This year. It's very oh, atmospheric. Yeah, it's not bad, People is it? from all over the flipping place. Oh, yeah, they? they're from Holland. We usually have the, the Italians as well, is but this right? year they didn't come for oh, some reason. got lost. Probably, you know, the Italians. <laughs> Where have you, you know? come from then? Stoke on Trent. Stoke on Trent. Ah. Ah. You're a, bun a bunch of uh, nutters rather than us northerners and nutters. The yeah. nutties we are, yeah, the so the nutters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, why a trike then, Malcolm? Why did you decide to have three wheels on your wagon? Yeah, well, I injured my back and couldn't ride the, the two-wheel bike. Right. So I just had the trike, you know, it was there on the on the wash. So I went and bought her and, uh, and it's much easier for me. Well, I'm sure it know? is. I mean, yeah. I like trikes because I can't fall off them so easily. That's it. Yeah, yeah uh, exactly. Do, do, you, do you go everywhere? Do you go to various different rallies yeah. or just the Virago rallies? No, we go for other rallies as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, we've been to the Bulldog and oh, Rock yeah, and yeah. Blue and all yeah. that sort of yeah. stuff. Um, one, of the, one or two of the locals around Staff, well, Staffordshire area, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we do all that sort Excellent. of stuff. Excellent. Your wife's got a bike there, but it's yeah. two wheels. Yeah, two wheels. It's bigger than mine, actually. This is, mine's a Pardon? 750. Oh, I see, yeah, sorry, me. And hers is 1100, yeah, you know. Yeah. And this was done up at the end of this year as well. She's got a name year. for that? Yeah, Charlie. It oh. used to be Gertie. Right, and but what, now it's sex change? Sex change job, I think, yeah. Has she found a particular item that's convinced her that it's a fella? No, it's the Dutch that gave you the oh, new name. Oh, right, then, the Dutch. Typical of the Dutch, you know. It just, yeah. <laughs> You've probably noticed it's gone rather quiet now here at the rugby club. That's because all the guys and the girls have gone for a big ride out and they're all gathering a little way down the road at Windsor. And Wayne has gone to take a look and we'll show you what he's found after the break.